Hi. Hi. We're getting an early start? Late, Late start? Late start. To the, whoa! Oh no. As the laptop falls. Got it. So yeah, late-ish start. But it, it doesn't feel like it's only six something. Yeah, it's like 6.40 something. Mm -hmm. But it feels like it's like 11. Yeah. I pretty much slept and did nothing all day because I came home from work approximately an hour after I went to work. Mm -hmm. Because I was sick last night many times, <clears throat> and today my stomach hurts, my head hurts, I had fever and chills last night. Yeah. So I spent the day on the couch, pretty much. Basically where I was. Although my foot's feeling better, so there's, there's that. I'm still taking the medicine for it though, just so that it goes away, away. So I got a call today from the music school that I teach at. Basically, they were asking me to take half the amount of money that I'm taking now. I was like, uh, what? So right now, they've had a deal with me where I basically told them about a year and a half ago that I was going to take all of my students with me um, because this was just getting ridiculous. I was less, just losing students left and right. And so the, the head uh, the owner of the school was basically like, okay, well, I'll pay you as long as you show up, right? So I'll pay you a flat fee for every day that you're there. So I was like, all right. And he's like, yeah. And then once we get more students in, then you'll get an hourly rate once, like, once, basically, once I, I bypass, like, five students a day. So that just goes to show you that how little of, <laughs> how little my, uh, my roster was at that point because before when I taught at Walters I had about I'd say about like 47 to 50 students a week and I loved it I had no issues with that and my students didn't have issues with me either um, but then I've, all of a sudden I'm at the new place and they can't get me past uh, I think the most students I had while teaching there that they've actually gotten me was five. Five students. That's ridiculous, right? So they call me today and they're like, oh, um, can you consolidate your students? And I'm like, I don't think any of my students want to be consolidated because A, they are, they, like two of them are adults that have like lives <laughs> and one is on Monday and then the other guy is on Thursday and he and they're, they're very specific about those days. I told them, I was like, no, I don't think they can consolidate because those are the days that they show up, right? Like I can't ask them to change. And so they're like, oh, okay, well then if we can't consolidate you, we'll just put you on one day and then they'll go to another, they'll go to another teacher. And I'm like, yeah, these two adults that you're getting right now don't want another teacher. If I'm not there, they don't want to be taught. So there's that. So I don't know. I, it's just it's basically given me like quite the headache uh, throughout the day. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm just sort of formulating in my head what the best course of action would be. So there's that, huh? That's great. But on the plus side, uh, the other job that I'm at, they seem to be giving me more hours. So I guess that's a yin yang kind of thing but in all honesty I'd rather be teaching however it looks like they're doing absolutely nothing to get me students so yeah sucks <laughs> it just basically sucks it's like the worst timing it's like right before Christmas six months before a wedding and they've done absolutely nothing for you in the two years that you've been two three Years I think now? I think the amount of students they've gotten me was about four or five. Yeah, in like three years, which you've gotten yourself by putting up posters downstairs. Yeah. So it's kind of ridiculous. Yeah. The big reason why I've lost so many students is because they don't want to pay the high fees that they're having to pay there. It's about... 
it's like a hundred dollars right off the bat or something like that like a sign up fee and then on top of that you pay about 35 or something like that per week uh, per is it per per lesson I think it's something like that like 35 35 or 37 per lesson and that's like the flat rate and then on top of that they also want the teachers to push like a like a yearly festival thing where the students have to pay to get into that as well so basically they're just trying to get as much money from from these students as possible and it's just like there's a point where like enough is enough like one of the students that I'm currently teaching they don't want anything to do with that school like their mom constantly badmouths them whenever I'm over at their place I'm just like yeah there's there's nothing really positive when you go in there unfortunately hopefully I can get something figured out everything will be okay again but for now I'm wondering exactly what I'm gonna be doing it's past the time Cheryl has decided to play what's this game called again who said it Mayor Ford or Mayor Quimby all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Number one. Are these morons getting dumber or just louder? Quimby. It was Quimby. <laughs> Number two. It's hard to hide 300 pounds of fun. It's hard to what? Hide 300 pounds of fun. I'm going to say Ford. Ford. Yes. <laughs> People don't want to see their mayor stuck in an office all the time. They want to see him right at their door. Ford? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll blow up our dams, destroy forests, anything. It's just a species of animal causing problems. Nosing around your camera. We will have it wiped out. Okay, it's got to be Quimby. Yes. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Demand? Who are you to demand anything? I run this town. You're just a bunch of low-income nobodies. Yeah, it's got to be Quimby again. Yep. Okay. Doing good. Let's call a, a, let's call a spade a spade. The left would have taken it and just wanted to spend it on crazy, stupid things like more social programs. Oh. That's... Um, I'm going to say Quimby. Ford. Really? <laughs> Damn it! That was this is one. Ford. All right. One wrong. Oh my god, I never want to hurt a bike. That's the last thing I want to do. Precious little bikes. Okay. These are getting harder. I know. Okay, I'm going to say... Um, I'm going to say Ford. Ford. What a jack. Oh my god. Jack, bleep. <sighs> yep. I ordered the reopening of this prison to send a message to the criminals of Toronto. If you commit a violent crime in your town, you are going to end up here. To demonstrate what you're in for, I will now strap myself to this electric chair, which was deactivated over 30 years ago, and I can only assume still is. <laughs> uh, it's Mayor Quimby. Yes. It, I had to change the Yeah. Name, obviously. Water is the healthiest form of liquid. <laughs> um, Ford? Okay, um, oh. by the way, this woman is not my wife, but I'm sleeping with her. I'm telling you this because I'm comfortable with my womanizing. That's got to be Quimby. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sick of you people. You're nothing but a pack of fickle mush heads. Quimby again. Tuesday, November 27th. I'm going to be playing hooky from, from City Hall. Ford? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Those oriental people work like dogs. They're slowly taking over. Um, Ford? Wow! Okay. <laughs> now on to the next item. The proposal for putting term limits on public office. All those in favor say I have sex with animals. Um, Quimby? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cry if it wasn't. Uh, what number did you say? 14, okay. 15. <clears throat> so, wait, how many have I gone wrong so far? Two? Too. I'd love to see us sell the zoo and make money on it if we can. Keep the elephants here and take it from there. That'd be Ford. Mm -hmm. Oh, because the elephant. Yeah, the elephant thing. You don't scare me. That could be anyone's ass. Now beat it. I'm calling the shots. 
Uh, it's gotta be Quimby. Yeah. I will retract the word S. Uh, Ford? <laughs> very, very well. If that is the way the winds are blowing, let no one say I don't also blow. That's Quimby. Yeah. You are tampering with forces you can't understand. You have major corporations sponsoring this event. Ford? Quimby? Quimby? I'm as clean as the days are long. Um, oh, that could be either. Um... I'm going to say Quimby. Ford. Considering. Not bad. But wow, some of those things. Eh? Some yeah. of those things. That's crazy. Uh, I got that off of Facebook. Nice. Uh, Gawker, by the way. Oh, no, Slate.com. All right. Thank you for that entertainment. The official title is Who Said It? <clears throat> Toronto Mayor Rob Ford or Simpsons Mayor Diamond Joe Quimby. All right. Yeah. Well, that was fun. There you go. So it's that time before marriage when we have to pick the, the music for, uh, for our wedding. See, we have to do one of those. All the choices. All those different choices. And I was like, this one sounds familiar. And Cheryl's like, it sounds like the horse races thing in My Fair Lady. And I'm like, no, it sounds like Masterpiece Theater. And we decided on this one. And then we look. There's like there's a there's a check and everything for this one. But now Cheryl's having perma grump face. My first walkout as Mrs. De La Cruz cannot be masterpiece theater. Oh, like no, it can't. It can't. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's uh, shortly after 10, um, Chuck has gone to bed, he, I think just all the stress of the call he got today and just the past couple of days have been really rough on him and he's a trooper, um, it's just, it's like the worst time for this to happen, um, and they really have done nothing for him in the couple of years that they've been, he's been there with them, so, um, He's not really sure what he's going to do. He's kind of, conf not confused, but worried, obviously. Um, so hopefully things work out for him. I know it's causing him a lot of stress. Uh, so much stress that that's why he went to bed. He's got a super bad headache right now just because of the stress. So hopefully something good comes out of this. Fingers crossed, anyway. So I'm just out here. I am reading um, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I've been watching him on YouTube forever, um, him and Hank, but I've never read his books, any of them actually. Um, so I asked my brother for, for, for my birthday and he got it for me, so I'm just reading that now. So far, I'm not that far in, but so far I really like it, so that was a good choice. <laughs> but yeah, so I think that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Kind of crazy around here, but... Hopefully, things are on the upswing. <laughs> Can only hope, right? So, um, have a good night, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.